start with the ad libs recipe. This is the teacher training video for the first part of the variation. So what we have is we've got the, the current um, ad lib, and if we run it, we go ahead and we can put in the adverbs. So we'll say happily, and then we'll say uh, uh, jumped, and then we'll say uh, foot, and that's where you should have ended up. So we have today I woke happily, then I jumped my foot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes, and this is teacher directed. This green comments is for the teacher. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just put a one at the end of everything because we're going to transition. And so we want to put a one all the way through um, because as we go along, you're going to see that we're going to create objects that are similar but more efficient. What we're teaching in the variation is we're teaching a couple of things in this first part. We're teaching um, how to use a map, which is like an array, and we do have that in our slides, um, to replace just a plain old list. And uh, then we're also teaching how to use a new object, the parser. That's the first part. So we got a one in here. Now let's run it and make sure it works. And just, for, I would use actual with the kids, but just for the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna say ABC just to make it faster. So that works, great. So then the first part here, and again, the kids aren't reading the green, this is for you as a teacher, is we're gonna um, change this into an array or a map. And the way that we do that is we're gonna use the word words, and then we're going to use square brackets, and then we're going to take current adverb and copy it into here, like that. Not current adverb one, but current adverb. And we have to put it in quotes and spaces matter and case sensitive matters because this is the label. And then we're going to set it equal to the rest of this up here. Okay? So we're going to say control C and we're going to copy this. So this is the first part of our map. Now, if we do this, um, it's not going to show up at all because um, we haven't put this into a structure. So we're going to start a structure down here using the um, current story. So we're going to uh, take the current story. And now, of course, that's going to be just plain old current story, not current story one. We're going to use this new thing called the parser. So again, you might want to use a slide or something to talk about this. The parser, as it says, can you go ahead and read that out for me in the documentation? The parser does what? Parser. This will help you insert words into your phrases. And Okay, and then we have the choice of which two methods with the parser, either what or what. Merge or merge RTF file. Okay, so in the first part of the variation, we're going to use the merge. So read what the merge does. Merges a template with a list of words. The words need to be to be merged need to be wrapped in curly braces. Okay, and it's really important that you look at the example here. Okay, so it's kind of a funny example if you look at it. Um, won't read it out, but you'll probably enjoy it. So we know we're going to have a method. Okay. And then we're going to take a template and a word list. Now the word list is going to be words, okay? Words like that, but then we need a template. So this is a tricky part. What we're going to do is we're going to merge parts at a time. So we're going to take for the template, we're going to start here, and we're going to merge in. Now when we first do this, it's not going to become be obvious to the kids why um, this is uh, superior. So we have to make, get the syntax right. So in order to do this, we have to have a single quote, I mean a, a double quote. So today I woke current adverb and words. Okay. Now if we run this, what's going to happen is this is not going to show up because we're looking at the current story. So I'm going to do a control C, current story one, and we want to look at the current story. Okay. So now what we can do is we can run this. We're going to have two sort of things going on. We're going to have a lot going on here. So I'm going to go kind of fast, enter an adverb, enter a verb ending in ed, whoops, I'm going to say b there, enter uh, body part c, and then enter an adverb again because that's the new one, and I'm going to say d, okay? Um, today I woke my a, then b, and c. That's the first story, the original story. Now the new story looks like this, so we're transitioning our story over, okay? So we're going to continue this pattern and build up onto our story. So to do that, we're going to take this words, uh, current adverb, and we're just going to copy this, and we're going to paste, and this time we're going to say current ed verb, because that's the next part of this, and we're going to say current ed verb here, and again, hopefully the kids are really getting into copy and paste, because as we well know, that makes us more efficient programmers. The more that we can effectively copy and paste, not just willy-nilly, 
that's going to be great. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to work on this. Now, this is real important. Rather than filling in on line 15, what we're going to do is we're going to just add to this parser.merge. So to do that, we're going to take the period, and we have to copy and paste very specifically here, all the way up to here. We're going to take that, and then we're going to copy and paste that, not in a new line. This is a key point of this, but right, right in here. And let's make sure we have the spacing right. Okay, now, if we've done everything correctly, and let me just take a look, that looks right, then our, we should have two parts of our story copied over. So let's just run through this really quick like, make sure it works. So we have an A, a B, a C, a D, and an E, right? And we should have two stories. I woke my A, then my B, then my C. Woke my D, then my E. Okay, so we're almost ready to move everything over. So the next part, we're going to copy this. You should know the pattern from here. Okay, control C. We're going to paste that. And then we need the current body part. Now we're going to have to make this story a little bit more fun here. So we're going to have a little help to make this story more fun. Okay, and then we're going to go here. And then we're going to paste this. Okay, and control C and control V. Okay, and now we need to take the rest of our story. So I'm going to scroll over. So we have the today I woke and we're up to the current ED verb. We need to take the rest of our story and take it like this and copy and paste it inside of here. So let's make sure that all the spaces are correct and everything. We have an extra space here, I think. And now is when kind of the magic happens. What um, should happen is we should have two stories. So let's do two stories. Okay, so give me an adverb, an easy one. Go ahead, read one out. Happily. Happily, okay. Happily. Give me uh, a verb ending in ed. Sneezed. Sneezed, okay. And then give me a body part. Spleen. Spleen, all right. Okay, now we're going to have to do it again for the second story. Give me another adverb. Metallically. Metallically. I don't know if I spelled that right. And then give me a verb ending in ed. Brood. B-R-E-W-E-D. I'm not so great. We need a spell checker in here, huh? And um, a verb ending in ed. Smiled. Smiled. Okay. I woke happily, then I sneezed my spleen. Okay, and the second story is I woke metallicy, then I brewed my smiled. Oh, you know what I did? I did something wrong. I want to enter a body part because I thought there were two EDs. So again, it's great when I make mistakes because those are the mistakes the kids are going to make. Okay, and then we should be good here. So now the magic happens. What we can do is we can get rid of all of these lines of code. All of these lines of code. So we can get rid of all this, and we can um, get rid of all this, and uh, we also can remove all these. This is real important learning that we had these four lines of code to build up this story. With the parser.merge, we're able to just continually add to our um, to our uh, template and it automatically adds everything together so it's a simpler way of coding. You know, one thing you see throughout our recipes is that we go from um, more basic to um, a more advanced using the APIs and then of course the last thing we can do here is we can just show the last story and what started out as a mini line recipe ends up being a lot more simple and elegant. So you can see, if we run it again, we got a single story. Let's make a good story. So enter an adverb. Last one. Enter an adverb. Tell me an adverb. Soapily. Soapily. Okay. And what's the next one? Uh, this is a verb ending in ed. Tasted. Tasted. Ooh, this is getting scary. And a body part. Lungs. Oh, I wonder how this is going to look. Let's see. Today I woke soapily. Ooh, then I tasted my lungs. Ew. All right, we can see Mad Libs are constantly fun. We actually have another part of this variation, which I hope that you'll have time to teach with the kids. We're going to record that next. And that gets into using different ways to display this more elegant um, way of writing the Mad Lib.